Now, these things should never cost 15 bucks each ever again. But if they do, I'm gonna show you how to grow the heck out of these. So the cost of foods these days is getting ridiculous and the amount that my kids eat is, well, scary. So as well as trying to save money and live a simpler life, I'm gonna build a veggie garden. So these are treated timber sleepers and they're rated to H4, which means no termites and they will not rot. I'm keeping this garden against this treated pine fence, which gets a decent amount of sun, but more importantly, it's protected from the southerly winds. Once you know where and sort of how big your veggie garden is, it's just simply a matter of finding level ground and building upon that. This is not level ground. So cue the montage of me digging. Once she's pretty and level, you may want to chuck in some blue metal stone for a base. Then you can place your timbers to see if it all fits. Remember to cut any treated timber with a proper protection. And if it needs a jiggle here or there, now's the time to do that. I'm going to stack these sleepers on top of each other, which gives me a height of about 40 centimetres. Perfect for a garden bed. Now, it's fairly level, but these timbers need to be fixed to the fence and to each other before we go putting any weight in it. I have a few brackets with some timber screws and then for the ends it will really help to bang a few bugles to the sides of those sleepers. The bang is a technical term for driving these little suckers in which are in fact called bugles. Don't ask me why. Always remember, drill a pilot hole so you're not splitting the timber when you drive your bugles in. Now, it looks pretty solid, it feels pretty solid, surprisingly. Time for the fun stuff. I'm putting down some weed matting or geofabric that's gonna help the soil stay all in one place and prevents the weeds from coming through. Bang that in and you're ready for the dirty part. Go nuts on some good quality soil, a bit of mulch, plant your seeds and count the money you're saving. So there you go, you've added to the value of your home, you're saved on the weekly shop. Now you can enjoy the fruits of your labour. It's not a fruit, it's a vegetable. Vegetable? <laughs>